What's good, everybody? We are playing some Tales of Berseria on Joshua Jericho. It is time to go kill us a high priest because that's the way we roll. A library? This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh, books in the ancient tongue. Can you read it? Well, no, but I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. Hey. Like, <laughs> I don't know what even to say. Don't know what even to say. Um, because I mean, clearly, you know. Well, let me see something really quick. <clears throat> she still has a. Oh, she hasn't learned it yet. Okay, I guess we'll keep it on. I don't know what we're gonna be fighting. So, Mogulo, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. She's not really very much help. I'll end this quickly. No yeah, this isn't gonna raise any alarms or anything. No one's gonna notice us as we're trashing through the entire waves of soldiers. Probably making no noise at all. Victory is ours. Okay, we're probably going to be fighting soldiers, so I am going to switch to this other blade. Even though it's lower. It's fine, she needs to learn. Locked from the other side? How dare they lock the door from us? It's amazing we can't just kick the door, we can kick rocks. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. So bad, just like trampling these soldiers. They're just like lambs to the slaughter, almost. Is it weird that, like, castle infiltration missions are some of my favorite ones in RPGs in general? I don't know why. 
I was just like as I'm playing this, I'm thinking about like okay in Dragon Age, there's the mission where you like storm through uh there's like a castle that got overtaken by um demon monster things and you were, you're like fighting your way through that and then there's like same kind of thing like you had to sneak into it and then like once you're in it you have to like fight your way through it and stuff and, and it's similar and there's also this actually reminds me a lot more of the mage's tower in that game but just any of those games where they're like a castle or a tower or, or... feeling nervous laffy said a bit i can teach you a spell that will help like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing no that was divination to draw back the veil of fate this spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune here is what you must chant magic kazam see it totally works i'm not sure what did this spell do it's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry if it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magikazam! Magikazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magikazam! Magikazam. Once again, with feeling! Magikazam! Magic Azamazam! Again! Magic Azamazam! Is that all you've got? Magic Azamazam! Zam! Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up. Ow, what was that for? <laughs> I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magic Kazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> I just... I don't even know what to say about her. Like, it's not that she's annoying. She's funny. I just... She's so odd. But anyway, like... I just like any of these games where you have to like invade a castle or a tower or anything like this and fight your way through it. I don't know why. It just always feels good, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm odd. They just tend to usually be my favorite zones during or the more memorable ones. Amber Talisman now. He's Master Void Ring. How did I not notice that before? But he can do Fire Ring. I'll end this quickly. <laughs> You know, Maggie Lou is perfect for this game because with all the, like, you have all the emo and intense and, I don't know, just pure drama and all that naturally built into the story and then with, like, characters like Velvet, We're finished here. who's, Let's go. you know, obviously... Very, 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 very intense. But then there's also characters like Rokugu. Or Ro I can't say his name. Roku, Roku, who like isn't intense, but he's definitely dark. And then you got characters like Aizen, who's intense, but also like honorable in a way. And what that creates is like 
to characters like Magilu, who offered the ability for those characters to have a foil, somebody that is not the same as them that they can counter against. So where you would normally see Aizen's, you know, more intense side, but also maybe he's got like a bit more of a honor bound side and stuff. And then like Magilu, who is absurd and not very honorable at all from what we've seen so far. And then, so he has like a good counter. And then you got like Roku who, when like doesn't tease Lapiset, but like has fun with him and but not at his expense, as where like Maggie will have fun at his expense. So you can kind of see the counter to that. Just really good idea, like a really well written situation. And then while she is goofy, she is goofy in like a dark enough tone that it fits in the game without becoming obnoxious. I don't know, I just really... I don't like her, but I, but I like her. You know what I mean? Like I don't... She's not my favorite character, but I like her in this game. In this game, she's good. Okay, so that's the end there. So let's go back and see. Ready to fight. Oh, these guys are respawning a little faster than most other places do. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Oh, that's the. Is that all that is? is it, oh, yeah, it's the door to the other side. <laughs> okay. Man, these guys respond fast. I survived here. forever. Let's go. That was a tough dude. Okay. I know, saving again, I just saved, but I'd rather save him while I'm there anyway. Alright, here we go. Time to kill the priest. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Mm, make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch. Stand Dang. Aside. I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The laws of the Abbey are clear. Fire and water. Upon my fire, Mirror, 
Ooh, man, this is a lot of people. Reinforcements. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. I'm on it. Run from your true mistress, M -m -m Miss Mockyloo. I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass. <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power... Are you an exorcist? Wrong. I am a witch, for whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Magilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? What just happened? Spending one break gauge level during a combo will instantly switch out characters and perform a tremendous knockback. Doing this while defending will switch characters without attacking, so decide which is right for the situation. Use up to swap characters like that. It is I. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> when you have at least one BG, you can press up to spin one BG and switch out a character from battle and attack with the incoming subsidy fighter. Once your party reaches six members, you can also press down. As long as you have the required BG, you can even switch out KO'd characters for characters who can still fight. Select which characters to switch out with the left and right. You're fighting a reaper. Okay. Oh, I'm nothing like Rokuro. I forget my debts so fast. Then pay us back right here. Always invest responsibly, children. <laughs> Okay, wait. So what I need to do... Uh, nope. Okay, so what I need to do is have him switch out. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, 
Item time. Stand aside. Never. Wait! All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or... No. Or was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet! That false savior will pay! <laughs> You won't be rid of me so easily! You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? <sighs> Don't you die either, Velvet! Priestie's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. You know, I was actually thinking that. I was curious about whether or not that I was like, you know, who might be in control of the, um, oh, I can't think now. You know, who might actually be in control of the, 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 the secret guild thing might be Arturius. He might be actually using us, and how creepy would that be if the end game, if we find out that we were being used by Arturius the whole time? Because remember, it was Ceres that let us out. It's entirely possible that he manipulated the Ceres even. I don't know. It's going to be weird. Using a Switch Blast will nullify any status effects and add one soul to the character coming in. This can be a useful way to extend your combo link after losing souls. Ugh. Okay, there was a lot of stuff that just happened in that episode, and I wanted to try to finish them off, but we're going to have to take a break because i got to look at Maggie Lou and figure out what abilities she has and where she fits in and look at everybody's gear. So we're going to pause here. I 
We tried to kill a priest, but it looks like we're killing a priest on the next episode. So hang tight, guys. One more. But thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it and all this intense drama that's just like, oh, this game is so good, man. I'm just really enjoying it. I hope you guys are liking it even half as much as I am. But I will see you next time, and we will definitely get them next time, I think. Thanks for watching.